Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. People always ask, how much should I work out per week? They really don't know. They get different results from different studies. So regular exercise is known to be good for our health and well-being, but how much exercise do we need to reduce the risk of early death? A recent study published in the scientific journal has looked into this question and provided some useful information According to the study, the current guidelines suggest that adults should do around 150 to 300 minutes of moderate exercise like walking, weightlifting per week, or 75 to 150 minutes or more of intense exercise like running or swimming, or a combination of both. That's the current guidelines. But this study found that doing more exercise than the recommended amount could actually help us live longer. The research studied a large group of adults over a long period of time and found that those who exercised two to four times more than the minimum recommended amount had, had a lower risk of dying from heart attack, heart disease. In particular, those who did about 300 to 600 minutes of moderate exercise each week saw the most benefit, with a significant reduction in overall death and death related to the heart. The study also found that people who did two to four times more than the recommended amount of, of intensive, intense exercise, about 150 to 300 minutes per week, also had the lowest risk of dying. Combining different levels of exercise work best for getting most health benefits. The researchers also noted that it's not just about doing one type of exercise. Both moderate and intense exercise have positive effects on reducing the risk of death, regardless of age. This means that even older adults can benefit from both types of exercises. Interestingly, the study didn't find any evidence that doing high-intensity exercise over long term had harmful effects on heart health, which had been a concern in previous research. See how the studies change? Most studies are needed to fully understand the effects of different levels of intense exercise on our hearts. To sum it up, the study suggests that doing more exercise than the recommended guidelines, especially combination of moderate and intense activities, can significantly reduce the risk of premature death and improve our overall health. And I'm going to be honest with you, I still don't agree with this study. I believe that 600 minutes is not enough per week. Exercise, like the study says, should be mixed with intense and moderate. Okay, when I say, I've said it on my other uh, videos, that you should exercise an hour and a half a day, seven days a week. I don't mean that you, you're supposed to kill yourself. You mix it up. You got easy days and you got hard days. Three days easy, four days hard, or, or three days hard, four days easy. That's how it should be done. Okay, and you gotta work your whole body. Reflex work. People don't do, don't train their reflex. When, when we age, we have to train what we lose as we age. Okay, we don't just lose a, a strength and and balance. We lose a lot more than this. We lose reflexes. Okay, we lose flexibility. We have to train all this. That means if you do yoga or stretch a stretching routine. It's very you don't have to be an expert, a yoga master. You just stretch, stretch as much as best you can for a half hour every day. This does not harm your body. It doesn't even it doesn't even hurt your body. You wouldn't even feel it. And that's exercise. And that's that's thirty minutes of exercise that you just did. And then you could walk the other half hour. This is on your moderate day, you walk a half hour. You ride the bike for a half hour and you stretch for a half hour. Anybody can do this. It's been done for seven days, and three of those days you have to do intense work. You know, jumps, sprints, things like that. Uh, lifting weights, heavy. You have to mix it up. People can work seven days a week if they want to. I mean, you're not going to do this for years on end, but you need to make be consistent with it. You miss a day or two, no problem. But just try to do it every day. Try to be active every day somehow. I mean, this is just my opinion. And I believe, I believe this study just changed the recommendations. They were ongoing for years, okay? They just changed it. Now, what's going to happen in the future? Remember I told you, 
They're going to change it again. They're going to change it again. Have a great day. This was a quick video. Maybe the information will help you. If it does, I wish you the best. See you in my next video.